Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. School iPads typically come preloaded with standard apps and restrictions that are managed and provided by educational institutions. Typically, administrators use mobile device management solutions to remotely control their devices. If you're having trouble getting new apps on your iPad, there are some quick workarounds you can try. In this video, I will show you different ways to install apps on your school iPad. Let's go! Officially, you have to use the App Store to get new apps on your device. However, if your device is configured with an MDM solution that restricts access to the App Store, you should know that even a reset will not allow you to access the application. As a result, the only viable solution is to remove MDM from your iPad. Please note that the following steps I will discuss are done on an iPhone, but everything should work similarly on your iPad. The simplest way to remove MDM from your iPhone or iPad is to release the device from Apple Business Manager. Apple Business Manager is a web-based device management and monitoring portal that enables organizations to create a centralized environment for controlling their devices. Before you begin, please note that this particular method only works if your user account's role is either an administrator or a device enrollment manager. Otherwise, you can either ask your administrator to remove your device directly or skip to the second timestamp for your alternative. To remove a device from the Apple Business Manager, open your browser. Go to business.apple.com and sign in with your account. Once signed in, go to the device's configuration panel and look for the device you want to remove. Select the device from the list and click Release Device. Once released, the device is no longer registered with your organization and any MDM server assignments are removed as well. As an alternative, especially if you don't have the necessary administrator privileges, there are some third-party tools designed to bypass MDM on your device. You'll find the link to the software I like to use in the description box below. Before I discuss this more in detail, make sure to disable Find My on your iPhone or iPad to avoid conflicts later when restoring. To start, open Settings. Tap your name above and go to Find My. Switch off Find My iPhone and confirm your changes by entering your Apple ID password. Next, connect your device to your computer and see to it that you're using an original or MFI certified cable to ensure that data can be successfully transferred between the two devices. When prompted, click the trust button and enter your device passcode to confirm the connection. On the program's dashboard, select the Bypass MDM mode and choose between the two additional options available. Select Bypass MDM if your device is stuck in the remote management screen. But if your device is accessible and only has certain restrictions that limit your access, you can choose Remove MDM instead. After choosing the mode according to your device status, click Start and wait while the program bypasses or removes MDM from your device. As soon as it finishes, your iPhone or iPad will be automatically restored and you'll be able to access it without any restrictions. Don't worry, all of your data should be preserved as well. Once MDM is successfully removed, you should now be able to access the App Store and install more apps on your iPad. Okay, if I've been able to assist you, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you enjoy taking photos and videos with your iPhone, please visit my website. Over the last few months, I've created a video course where I've gathered the best tips and tricks on how to make the most out of your iPhone for photography. You'll find the link to the website in the video description. Until next time, bye!